Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. And as you guys can see by the title, today we are talking about eagles inspired by my book, Pep Talk Prayers. You know the drill. You can check in the description below this video, and you can check on my community page, and you can hit the link, and you can get a copy if you'd like to read the entire book. But for the next three weeks, I am going to talk about nine different aspects of the book, and it's going to be a quick little pep talk because it's going with the theme of pep talk prayers. So these are usually not going to be more than five minutes, but it's things that I feel God wanted me to pull out for you guys to get because I really think the way things are going now, we're going to need a little inspiration while we're in the middle of this first quarter of the year so that we can get our confidence up. And I don't know which one of you needs to hear this, but keep building your confidence. But before you go to anything else, build your confidence in God first. First thing you do in the morning is seek his word, seek his face. And before you go to bed at night, fill up your tank like that. And then anything else that comes in after that, mm, that's just a cherry on top. Now check this out. I'm going to close with the prayer that I wrote in the book about eagles and vision. And I want to make sure that you understand that God is with you. If you are actually listening to this right now, this is not a mistake. This is not happenstance. This is not, oh, I don't need to be listening. No, like I genuinely believe I prayed before I did this. I was like, Lord, let the people who need to hear it, hear it. Let them connect to it. Because there's so many of you who do not realize how close you are. You've been beating your you've been beating yourself up terribly and comparing yourself to other people. And you don't even realize that you have, if not all, you have some or even most of the characteristics of an eagle and you are not activating them. So let this pep talk prayer today be about you activating who you actually are. Now, one of my favorite mentors, God bless his soul. Dr. Miles Monroe, he did an incredible piece that I've talked about for years now on all of my pages publicly since 2012, I believe, about the characteristics of an eagle. And I just want to give you those seven principles that he gave before I close out with the pep talk prayer, because I think it's going to help somebody. Now, check this out. The prince, the first principle, he says that eagles fly alone at high altitude and they do not deal with sparrows or small birds. Okay. There's a fun fact. No other bird can get to the height of an eagle. They stay away from sparrows and they stay away from ravens because eagles fly with eagles. I want you to ask yourself who you're flying with right now in this season. Because let me tell you something. Sometimes, <laughs> believe it or not, you can't recognize who you're around because you're so caught up and not paying attention to your surroundings. So, for some of you, God might be switching up the people that you thought were your tribe and he's going to actually realign you with eagles. I don't know who that's for, but I feel like that's prophetic for somebody. Number two, eagles have strong vision. What is your vision right now in your life? I want you to sit with that. Hear me out. It doesn't matter what you have planned to do. Without vision, the people perish. That is in the Bible. You have to have a vision. If you don't have a vision, what God put in you, it will perish you will and you will perish you will not be able to execute the things and excellence that god has called you to do okay third thing eagles do not eat dead things Ooh, just like the scripture in the bible listen you don't want to go back to your vomit dogs go back to vomit you don't want to do that you hear me this is why this is important you can't eat dead things god is trying to fill you with things of life Things that give you sustenance and things that take you to the next level. What are you eating that's dead? Are you listening to crazy music? Are you looking at uh, <clears throat> crazy things? You're reading crazy things? Are you hanging around crazy people? Are you in these weird situations that make you feel weird in your spirit? It might not bother nobody else, but does it bother you? You know what I'm saying? Ask yourself, what are you taking in that's not giving life that you need to replace with something that's life giving for you? The next thing is eagles love the storm. I'm going to tell it to you like this. If you're in a storm right now, dance in the rain. Because let me tell you something. It's not going to rain forever. And when you get out that storm, you're going to be ready for your next. Here's the next thing. Number five, an eagle tests before it trusts. 
So moving forward for all of you who have gotten burned in the past, just take it from this tip. This is a pro tip. Test next time before you trust. It's okay. It might take you a little longer. You might have to come up with a different uh, strategy or plan. But how about this time around? They're not going to get you and they're not going to set you up for the okie doke. Hear me out. You're going to be sucker free this time. You did. You are going to be sucker free and you are going to be able to operate the way God wants you to. So remember an eagle test before it trusts. So that's what you say to yourself. Yo, I'm testing before I'm trusting. You make that your, you make that your statement, your, your positive statement for the day. If you need to, when you are encountering things that make you question if it's God or not. The sixth thing is check this out. When eagles are ready to lay eggs, the female and the male identify a high place. Oh, I'm gonna stop right there. They identify a high place. You want to know why? So the predators can't reach. Make sure you reevaluate where you are positioned and placing yourself. Because some of you have put yourself in the presence of predators. And they will take everything you give birth to. Whew. They will take everything you give birth to. So trust me when I say, if you got something cooking in the kitchen... Don't you leave that subject to somebody who could abuse it. And don't you be around people who are not going to elevate you and take you to the next level. Whatever you have that's precious to you, do not leave it in the presence of a predator. And if you're not sure if they're a predator, don't give them what they want and see how they act. You'll find out. Here's the last one. Number seven, he says, when an eagle grows old, his feathers become weak and he cannot move as fast as he should. But when he feels weak, he retires to a faraway place. Okay, now watch this. He stays in his hiding place until he has grown new feathers. So then he can come out. Check this out. If you are in a place where you feel like you lost your feathers and now you're feeling like, man, I'm not in the mix. Time just passing me by. I'm just back here. Nobody know what I'm doing. Like, I, I kind of feel like I'm missing out. Let me tell you something about an eagle. An eagle will let loose some feathers and will wait and be in hiding until that eagle is ready to jump out and soar the way God intended. Do not curse your time of letting your new wings grow back. You hear me? Do not let that happen. When those... I said wings, but yeah, well, wings, feathers. Trust me when I tell you. God is very, very strategic with an eagle, just like he's very strategic with you. Now, I'm going to leave you with this. What I thought Dr. Miles Monroe shared was brilliant, and I'm so grateful that he did this so I had an opportunity to share it. And what I did in pep talk prayers was I did a quick prayer, and I wrote it in a way that I feel like, we think it, but we're afraid to say it. And that's how I typically am. I typically say the things that people are thinking and they, you know, they're afraid to say it. So I'm going to close out with this one for you guys. Make sure you go to I'm wired to inspire.com and you pick up a copy of pep talk prayers. And y'all, if you get it, make sure you leave a review, make a comment, take a, uh, you know, take a picture, post, share it. I'll gladly share it. You have any questions with me about it? I mean, that you would like to ask me about it. I would love to talk to you about it. So this is what we're doing. We're going to pray it out. This is on page 73 of Pep Talk Prayers, and this prayer is called Eagles. Lord, remove the desperate. Throw it together. Haphazard mindset that I've been operating in that gives me a false sense of excellence. Give me a desire to fine-tune the details and operate with the characteristics of an eagle so that when my God moments happen, I won't miss them. I pray that if the enemy has been making you think that you've been doing things on a certain level to keep you from going higher, I pray that the Lord removes the scales from your eyes and he shows you what you can do to get to the actual premium level that God wants you to get to. I pray that you play this back if you need it. Like, share, subscribe. And thank you so much for trusting me with your time. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose.